came down, I was wearing, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say it was pretty warm, but once I'm moving, the air is uh, cooling me off. Um, so, yeah, no gloves. Uh, I don't generally like having my jacket open because, you know, added wind resistance. Um, but I think it's kind of perfect at the moment. Well, it's actually a little warm. Being off would be better, I think. But, uh, I don't think it's quite, quite warm enough to stop. Um, especially considering how short the ride is. Um, so, uh, I am liking setting the beeps on. Uh, the real fear with putting the helmet on and getting everything ready to go is that I just forget to press the button. Um, but now that I'm not wearing gloves, I mean, I might wear gloves some. I don't think the season for gloves is completely over just yet. But uh, not wearing gloves definitely makes the whole... Um, the whole button situation a little easier so um that yeah hopefully i just you know just press it and then it's uh it's all g so uh brent wallace and i he's in uh the band BZB and the band Silverback Trio um, used to work at Nagios. Uh, I'm sure some of you have uh, heard of him or know him. Uh, he and I, we're gonna do. We haven't we haven't officially come up with a name, but I'm thinking Tour de Cloud. Uh, during the Tour de France, we're gonna bike up to Saint Cloud. Um, it'll be about a 140 mile round trip for me. Um, it will be, I guess, 20 miles shorter than that for Brent. Uh, but, uh, you know, it'll just be a one-day thing uh, down and back. Uh, I, th I think about 140 is about the longest um, Tour de France legs that they've ever done. But, of course, they, they bike day after day and... Um, you know, lots of hill climbs, and I think that should be pretty flat. Uh, if I could see better, I might go. This is a great time when there's snow. <laughs> I can kind of like hop up there, but uh, since we don't have that, I don't know if he's gonna turn or not here. What is he doing? I, mean, I guess he's going super slow. 